Hi my friends, welcome back again. Yes, it's been quite a while, yeah, like two days or something like that, uh, since our last episode when I talked about uh, the latest King Dude album. Uh, today I'm gonna talk <clears throat> again about my, uh, my tape collection. I want to show you some tapes uh, which I have, uh, which I have, uh, I don't know, bought, uh, acquired over, over the years. Uh, some of them are really nice, some of them are uh, old Romanian bands. Um, one of them, one of those bands uh, is not active anymore. They, they just released uh, one album and uh, a demo uh, but split and then uh, they disbanded. They changed name and then they disbanded. So, uh, talking about this band, uh, the name is Diesire and the album is Gargoyles. This is the, the tape. It was released in 1997, if I'm not mistaken, or 1998. Uh, to be honest, I forgot exactly the, the year. Um, the tape came out uh, on Bestial Records, which was uh, basically the main label at that time who released uh, Romanian bands on tape, uh, extreme metal bands on tape. This is the inlay. Uh, actually, for 1998, Let's stick to that year, and if I'm mistaken, I'm gonna correct myself, uh, and I, I will put the correct year in the in the video's text. Um, so I was saying, for that year, like 20 years ago, uh, this was really nice. This was a really nice inlay. Um, I like the cover a lot. It's very very nice, and uh, it's dark and mysterious. Uh, unfortunately, here you cannot see. Uh, what exactly this cover is about but the guys made some posters like this and the picture is much more clearer and you can see uh, the design very very well uh, this is the inside of the inlay it has the lyrics and some uh, funeral masks <coughs> which give a morbid touch to this uh, to this album uh, DS Serial was uh, uh, a Bucharest based band they first released a, a demo into the into perennial spleen a split with the uh, with the Moldavian Gothic metal band, that Gothic metal band, uh, God. Yes, God. Uh, that split came out on uh, on Eurostar, if I'm not mistaken, and then uh, a year later or a couple of years later, the guys signed the contract with uh, with Bestia Records and released this Gargoyles album. Which, in my, in my opinion, and uh, not only in my opinion, is one of the most underrated Romanian extreme uh, metal albums. Uh, unfortunately, this album didn't see the, uh, the light of day as a CD, only as a tape. And over the years, uh, the tape has lost uh, its power. It uh, demagnetized, if I can say that, I don't know if that's a word in English, I'm gonna look it up. Um, the little bits of the sound is, I don't know, changed, but still you can you can hear uh, exactly what this band is about. Uh, they uh, they had a lot of concerts in Bucharest and uh, in the country. They were really really appreciated because at that time, uh, together with Negura Bunjet, they were one of the spearheads of the Romanian extreme metal metal scene. Um, after the years, because of uh, I don't know, change of ideas and uh, because of growing up maybe uh, the guys decided that this style doesn't suit them anymore so they changed to a, they changed to a more maybe Covenant-like style and they had another band which was called Worganism uh, they released an album Centipede which is mm, so and so but um, those of us who really enjoyed and had the chance to see them live uh, still have these gargoyles uh, in their hearts. Uh, so this is uh, this is Diasire, another band, a black metal band now, uh, coming from Arad, another another city in Romania. Uh, this is the demo. <coughs> it's called Unchained the Wolf, and the band uh, the band name is Vokodlok. Uh, this is the demo tape. They had uh, uh, they had uh, they had another album later on, which, which was called Mass Murder Genesis. Uh, it was released by, uh, by Beauty of Pain. Um, and then they disbanded as well. So uh, this demo is uh, 
a black metal demo. It's short, it has only five songs and it's a black metal uh, played like it was played uh, in the in the in the at the end of the 1990s. Uh, the tape, as you can see, it's really basic. Uh, it's an independent release. Uh, it's a piece of history. It still sounds great, even if for some the the genre is a little bit obsolete. I like it a lot. It reminds me of when things were much purer and simpler than uh, than today. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna start with uh, with a, a classic, also on tape, uh, which is called uh, Vikan Rede, the first incarnation of what was to be uh, later known as Negura Vunjet. So this is the first demo from Transylvanian Forests, also a self-release. Uh, look at the quality of the of the demo. Some might complain that uh, it's crap. I really like it. It looks like crap, but it's another piece of history. It's a Xerox piece of paper, but it looks amazing. Uh, it was released in 1995, so more than 20 years ago. Uh, this is uh, basically what Negura Bunjet played at first, before becoming Negura Bunjet. Of course, uh, those two bands are quite uh, similar and distinct at the same time. Similar because uh, they had the same the, the same members, but basically, uh, Hupogramo's disciples and the Black Pharmakia Peporomene uh, were to be known uh, better as Negura Budget, and uh, they have they had here uh, a keyboard and the vocalist, which was called Ivas Valach disciple. Um, after the the Vicar the period, he disappeared, so uh, Negura Budget went on without him. Um, as you can imagine, the quality of this demo, look, this is how it looked like. The quality of this demo is not uh, is not very good one. That's why uh, in um, 2000 it was re-released by Bestia Records on a semi-professional tape. Yeah, it, if you compare the two, the two covers, yeah, this is a professional one. Uh, it's a glossy paper, uh, it looks a little bit different. It has... Uh, a, a higher quality than the other one and this uh, this tape these tapes this demo was uh, released in 345 uh, copies uh, hand number copies this copy is uh, number 45 as you can uh, as you can see here um, a bonus for uh, for this demo is um, uh, Spurkatu who joined uh, who joined uh, on guitar um, so this was released in 2000. Spurkatu was also uh, a member of Negura Budget. So basically, the lineup of Negura Budget in 2000 re-recorded um, the From Transylvanian de uh, Forest demo. Uh, as a bonus, uh, <coughs> besides Spurkatu, they uh, they added two songs: uh, Into the Mountain King's Realm and uh, Sculptured Fog. These uh, these songs were recorded in 2000 in Negura Bunjet studio. Um, yeah, so this is the first incarnation of what was uh, later known as Negura Bunjet. And in 1995, Negura Bunjet released uh, their first album, Zernindusa. This is the tape. Uh, this is uh, Bestia Records' first release, as you can see here. Uh, it's best, uh, BR001. Uh, the tape is really interesting, uh, the lyrics are in ancient Romanian, so you cannot understand a bit, even if you are Romanian. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, old, I think, old Slavonic and, uh, I don't know, some sort of dead language, uh, but it sounds really, really interesting. Um, I don't know exactly what Zernindusa means, but uh, it's quite exotic. Um, we have here... Black metal, as it was played uh, like 21 years ago, uh, Norwegian inspiration, maybe a little bit of enslaved, maybe a little bit of everything that was uh, hyped at that time, but it's very well written and very well performed. I, I like this album a lot, it's, uh, it has a very melancholic mood whenever I listen to it because it takes me back in time. 
uh, unfortunately today Negura Bunjet is just a joke of what they used to be from my point of view of course I don't like them at all they are uh, they are playing something which I don't really relate to uh, the band has changed the only the only original member is is the drummer so uh, from again from my point of view it doesn't have any kind of personality as they uh, they had back in the back in the day so this is the album later on it was released on uh, on vinyl and on CD as well but I, I really like the this tape it's uh, it's quite interesting and I'm really happy, glad I, I have it in my collection because it's uh, it's completely sold out these days the next album is again uh, Negura Bunjet, their second album which is called uh, Maestro Svetnik. This is really a pro release, uh, still on Bestia Records, but look at the paper. Uh, it's a uh, matte paper, it's really really nice, the golden, uh, the golden writing and the golden drawing on a, on a black, uh, black sheet of paper. And here on, uh, on the inside inlay you just have a shadow of some mountains, uh, I don't know if you can, you can see them, but uh, I can tell you this is really a very interesting release. Uh, the CD uh, was uh, basically released on, uh, on the same kind of paper, it was a digipack limited to 1000 copies uh, and the black, a black disc if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is how the tape looks like, it's really professional so uh, for 2000 uh, Negura Bunjet really, uh, they, they have done a, a really good job. I like this album a lot as well. Uh, it's still in the same uh, in the same formula. You know that Hupogramo's disciple uh, had some uh, had some problems with the, with the, the drummer. I'm sorry, I forgot the I forgot the drummer the drummer's name. And he went on and formed uh, Dor de Duh. Uh, okay, moving on from from Negura Bunjet. And moving on from uh, from the year 2000, I'm gonna uh, fly away to 2006. Um, a completely different genre, um, completely different country. The band is called uh, Dispago. They they uh, they come from the UK and they play uh, black and filthy, sleazy, speed tra uh, speed punk. Yeah, uh, so it's a bizarre combination. Uh, you you just can label them whatever you want to. Uh, I think they won't give a fuck. Uh, I just wanted to I don't know to put you in to present you the band and to make a, a short description of, of what they are playing. But I think you can stick to punk rock, uh, violent punk rock, and you you can have an idea. You can you can check the the YouTube and you will find some. Um, some video clips, uh, Midnight Marauder is uh, is really nice. So uh, the history with this band is that they released uh, a double seven inch, and this tape. This is how the tape looks like. It's really basic. It's really simple. Uh, it comes with a nice patch. This is the patch. Uh, it's a handmade patch, I think. So yeah, on a short budget, on a low budget, uh, but. This is what I like exactly. Uh, nothing fancy, just uh, pure uh, filth music, filthy music, and uh, a content like this, which uh, which really appeals to me. I bought this this tape from Van Records. They they used to have it on sale. I, I think they they still have it. So if you want to give them a shot, uh, buy this tape. Uh, on side B, you, we have a bonus live set. Uh, some songs are played uh, are played live, so this is definitely worth it. For five euros, uh, you have uh, some uh, some really cool uh, fucking black trash speed punk metal. Uh, keep an eye on them. I'm looking forward to their uh, to their album. And to end this episode in a very very interesting way, I'm now moving from the UK to France. And I'm going to present you Vene Fiction. <coughs> Vene, Vene Fiction. Vene, Vene Fiction. Um, this is a French uh, band which plays old school death metal. Uh, I wrote a review for this demo uh, which is called uh, The Fixio. Uh, I will put the link uh, of that uh, 
of that uh, review and I also did uh, did an interview with the guys they were very kind that accepted my invitation to have an interview uh, I asked them quite a lot of questions like 16 questions and they uh, they took their time and they answered uh, really in depth and uh, they gave some insightful answers which I, I really really appreciated so uh, they made this interview quite interesting and uh, I will put the link in the movie as well because it's really worth reading while listening to this demo. Look at the tape, it's just a very old school tape released in 2016. Uh, it has a very very nice romantic melancholic uh, touch. The, the paper is uh, seems to be Xeroxed but it's not Xeroxed. It has the quality of uh, the 21st century but the content is the one like from my point of view like from 30 years ago. Uh, yeah, so check them out, they will release uh, their first mini LP on I Iron Bonehead, uh, maybe this year, maybe um, at the beginning of next year, it's called uh, Armorican Death Rites, uh, check them out, keep an, eye, keep an eye open for them, if you have the chance to, to watch them live, do it, because they, uh, they only play some selected, uh, selected shows. They are not that uh, hyped to play festivals and uh, to make a tour in, I don't know, uh, to tour the whole Europe, so uh, every chance to see them live is like uh, one of the last. Uh, again, check this band out, look at the majestic cover and the, the creepy cover. Uh, let me tell you about, uh, let me tell you something about the songs. If you like old, uh, perhaps old Asphyx and Tombed, uh, some old Repugnant. Uh, some old morbid angel you will identify yourself with this uh, with this release it's really amazing it has only only four uh, four tracks but uh, they are definitely worth it they are amazing so uh, this was uh, benefiction and this was uh, my episode and see you next time cheers <laughs>